Welcome back to Custom Tom. Uh, considering we're on this lockdown, I've decided to, as you saw in my last video, I've decided to pull apart the bag and do quite a bit of work now. Just general maintenance stuff and a few bits of modifications. Yeah, I hope you enjoy the, the video. Trying my best to keep a bit of content rolling, so hopefully uh, I do gain a few subscribers and uh, likes from this, so please subscribe and like. I'm going to crack on. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. <coughs> right, for the most part of this video, it will just be dismantling it. I'll be taking all the fairing off, the wheels and the seat unit and subframe. I will be, in the upcoming weeks, I will be rebuilding the calipers. These are from a Triumph 955i Sprint 2004. Both front and rear I'll be rebuilding because the fronts, as you can see, are Binding quite a bit, and I don't like that. I will be removing some of these stickers. I will be replacing the fork oil, painting a few of these horrible bits here. I don't know if I'll bother painting the stanchions myself, but I don't know about that yet. One thing I will be doing, hopefully, sanding all this back because, as you can see, under this 44 teeth sticker, it is quite damaged under there. I don't think you can really tell here. Let's see if you can under a lot of different lighting. There, you can see that old sticker outline. I don't know how that's happened. It, don't know what sticker it was or how it happened, but it's all all down it and it just does my head in. So I'm I'm going to try to get a bit of advice off Twitter at custom underscore Tom if you want to give me a hand or leave a comment below. I'm wondering if I can sand this down, removing this, sand this down and re lacquering it. Moving these stickers here, this sticker here, but I'll lightly sand over that. If well, I'll do a bit in the corner first and then see if I can sand over that. If not, I'll just mask it off and spray around it. Uh, I'll be polishing this, changing the headstock bearings. I'm not bothering rebuilding the master cylinders because they do work and they're fine. Here's the rear caliper I'll be rebuilding. I'll be polishing up the link pipe and headers. As you can see the head is here, I'm quite rusty, so I'm polishing them up a little bit. I'm going to be touching up the frame at the back here, just just a few bits, you know, good clean. Doing the cam, the, the valve clearances and changing the cams that need changing. Draining the oil and the coolant, cleaning the radiator off a little bit, uh, front wheel bearing, rear wheel bearings have been done, they're alright, it's a bit dirty and a ride out after I sprayed the swing arm. I'll be building the seat unit and um, trying to get that mounted but also because I want to keep this uh, original seat and everything I'll be recovering these because there's a rip there and a rip there because I've got a massive arse um, I'm going to see if I can do something about these, I don't like these but you know it's not really that bothering make a new bracket or cut this, put a big uh, triangular hole there just to make it look a bit better 
Um, I've got new fairing pins coming, so I'll change them. I want to get rid of this and put a bar down from a new bracket here and a bar down to the top of the light mount, which is also the clock mount. So that'll be done. Um, here's my seat unit with the number plate bracket which will be going about there somewhere I've still got to make the rest of that I've got a video that I've done a bit of this on here's the seat unit valve shims if I need to do them headstock bearings, all balls caliper paint, graphite uh, this is an indicator relay that is just in case I need to change it I'll have a look through it first these are the front wheel bearings rear caliper seal kit front caliper seal kit new horn because mine was totally shot and gone not working I've, I wanted to repair it but too far gone I need to make a new bracket for it can't find mine now I've taken it off some number plate lights some rear tail lights that I need to fit also I will also be just cleaning up the engine and around the inside of the frame and getting rid of this blue tape in here that you can just about see and this white wire I'll put that in properly hopefully that white wire there is for the trip meter so I'll be doing that, so uh, I hope you stick along with me and uh, enjoy the show. So now, I'm going to crack on and get all the fairing and everything off. So, sit back, relax, have fun. <laughs> right, what seems like a mere second to you guys has been two hours for me. I have a, I ran out of battery, so I, t I just charged that up for an hour or two and uh, just cracked on. Right, so you've seen me take the fairing off before if you've watched my videos. So I've just taken the front bits off bagged it all up and I started to crack off the the pinch bolt at the bottom of the forks here and here I've got three out as you can see they've been locked tighted up and obviously with all the salt and salt and rain and obviously all that kind of crap one of them 
has corroded quite badly so as you can see there it's stuck in so what I'll do is because I've tried everything I've tried welding a, p a pin on it and nothing has happened there so what I'll do is um, I'll just take everything, everything I can off it hopefully drop the forks out if I can jack the bike up enough I should be alright should be able to and then just take the forks to work and either drill it out I'll try heating it out first and then uh, see what I can do there I mean the the axle might come out without it, I doubt it but it might, I'm going to have a go I haven't got the right bits for that anyway, I need a 17mm allen key socket for there I can't remember what size that, that side is but I've done that so Basically, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to, what I'm going to do now is take this off the fairing, the, the mud guard for the front, take the calipers off and drain the system. It, now I'll pump the pump the pistons out first and also empty the coolant. But I won't do that and the oil until I've got it warmed up so that'll be that'll probably be tomorrow's job so for now I'm just going to pump the pistons up so take the, pist the calipers off and pump the pistons out to us see if we can start with that and then at least I'll be able to start splitting everything yeah so I've got a few things to do. I've just been on me, uh, me little wander. Nothing else to do today, so other than this, and I've got another three weeks worth of lockdown at least. So uh, yeah, just it's boring, isn't it? But at least we've uh, at least I've got something to do. I've got loads of videos to watch on YouTube, especially watching, like I say, Simon Quickie. He's good. I haven't seen anything from Matt from the workshop for a long time. Been watching uh, Andy's workshop down under. Uh, he's, got, he's been good. Uh, his Ducati build that was that was brilliant. So I'm watching them. And uh, Lamb Chops, he's uh, he's doing a a new restoration on uh, one of his Ducatis. I haven't seen much from, oh, what's his name now? Craig, at the doghouse. I haven't seen much from him, but, you know, circumstances for him. Shame, really. So yeah, I'm just uh, just struggling along. I'm just going to keep posting videos whenever I can, editing videos whenever I can, and hopefully you get quite a bit of video up. So I'm gonna crack on. <coughs> so here I'm just try and get this pin out. It's just not budging. No, not budging, I don't dare strip it or anything. Well, I'll just crack on with the calipers, I'll get them off. Get them up the 14 mil, uh, yeah, 14 and 12 I need. Because, for some reason, there is a 14 mil. A pin on the other side, on the other side. So like I say, I'm just going to see if I've ever got a camera idea. Let's have a look. No, I have not. So I'm just cracking these off. 
I'm not going to crack them off just yet. I'm going to try to pump the pistons out as far as I can. I'm going to be far some chance to using the compressed air to blow them out a bit further then. So I'll do this side first. And that should help me out a bit. At least. And some people do use the brake disc for to stop the the pistons going all the way. I'm not going to do it that way because these are quite thin discs aren't they, these are bike ones. I do on uh, the vans at work if I do them, but I'm not going to here. I'll bag these up as well. I don't use copper grids on anything. this one that's binding but I'm still rebuilding them both anyway right what I'm going to do now is start pumping I'll keep the uh, the, the what's it the pads together so uh, you know I don't need bed them in as much anymore after this I wonder why that was These have new pads in as well, so we're pretty much bedded in by now. Yeah, they definitely they don't go back easily. I don't know if you can see that. So zoom, zoom, zoom. I'll do zoom now. Then I don't really zoom on there. I've got them all started on this side. I'm going to pop the back on the disc for now, stopping from dangling and also stop it from uh, popping out when I do the other side.
I can just keep them on like that. Right, the other side has got a 14 mil bolt in. Same again. Take the pads and pins out. Depends. I'll uh, try getting, pardon me, try getting new off. Seeing with the pinch bolts or the forks. Uh, that's something to add to the park list. I probably won't get OEM ones. I'll probably get try get titanium ones or something like that. See if I'm corrosion then. And this one is really long, so no, not that. The bolt. So, it's just a matter of time now, probably fast forward. <coughs> so all I'm doing here now is undoing the... I've cracked off all the bolts to hold the calipers together and also the pipe. I don't want it to go on my wheel so I'm just undoing it over a tub and let it all drain out. I recommend you wear gloves for this but I'll wash mine straight after anyway. That's one colour pit. I'll take that off. That new uh, Union copper washers. As I'm letting that drain off, I will also put an old rag across the bottom of the wheel so I don't get any fluid on, and if it does, it'll soak onto that first and then I can make sure it done it. Get on the wheel. It should be fine if you catch it soon enough. You won't strip the paint. I do need to touch this paint up anyway because they're a bit chipped. I wish I had two tubs to be honest with you so I could do the other side straight away. But no, it's me. Bag everything up and you're organised then aren't you? I mean see if I can find a tub. Pull my trousers up because I bet you're sick of seeing me pants. Oh I've got a tub. Another tub of white tub. Don't tell the missus. Same again here. I've taken all the pinch bolts off, the caliper bolts loose. And also the pipe bolt, union bolt, whatever you want to call it. And I will uh, and then the last day uh, I did show me taking all the loosening all the bolts off but I didn't uh, record that for some reason. It cut short. 
not that fun to watch anyway, really. But hey ho, we carry on. Right, coming to the end of this first video then, on the lockdown. Taking the calipers off, that was my aim. As you can see here, this is the left side. See what I mean? It's just a bit of scale that is, I don't think the pit at all. I'll double check anyway because, yeah, it's coming off from fingernail that is. And hopefully same this side. This is the right, uh, this is left side, this is the right side. Off side, near side if you want. <coughs> so I'll just uh, disman start dismantling them. Because what I'm going to be doing here, obviously rebuilding them with the seal kit. I'm going to be taking off this Triumph badge here. Triumph logo, because it's not a Triumph and it looks daft. And people on Twitter have commented saying, why have you got Triumph calipers on? Because they fit and they are better than the original uh, Tokiko's ones. That's why. So in my next video I'll be, I'm just going to split these now, I'll be uh, stripping them down fully and I'll also be uh, sanding that back, filing it back, the Triumph logo, checking the pistons, painting the calipers and also Obviously cleaning them first, checking, painting, checking, cleaning, painting and hopefully putting them back together. I think that should suffice as a, a good video. Now I'm by no means a bike mechanic but I am a vehicle mechanic so in a way it's a how to but I'm not telling you this is the law, how you have to do it. This is just how I, I do it at work, how I've been taught. Like I say, I'll clean these up at work with the wire wheel and also paint these black with my gloss black I've got. So I'll put these in a separate bag to go to work. So I can do all that. It doesn't matter which order you put them in. Keep these two to one side. And then I'll keep these two a different side. Bag them up when you can. I wash my rags quite regularly so always hand wash as well. I do need to get some more because these used to be my bike cleaning ones but now they're not because they're very old and just helping me out through this build it through this uh, project I'm doing now <coughs> so give me your thoughts tell me what I've done wrong tell me what I've, if you like my videos all that kind of stuff. Please help me out and uh, share these videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification button so you get to see my next videos. Oh, pissing out. Yeah, coming out easy enough they are. 
yeah they'll come out with my hands right so the next video we'll be splitting uh, taking, taking pistons out and um, cleaning them up and all that stuff for work they'll be going work Monday thank you for watching I've been Custom Tom have a good day